Hi, my name's Tristan, and these are the Kawaguchi Lectures. On Sunday the 14th, 2019, I was lucky enough to be present at a series of lectures that Mr Kawaguchi gave at the Australian leg of the Gundam Builders World Cup. These lectures were unique from the point of view that they've only ever been delivered once in public, and this was in Osaka, Japan, I believe it was earlier this year. They have never been delivered, heard, or viewed in the English-speaking world. With the help of Lincoln Wright, who is the brains and face behind paint and plastic and is also a 25-year veteran of the Japanese modelling industry, we are now very lucky to be able to have these lectures, as I said, have never been heard of outside of Japan and they've only occurred once before. Uh, thanks to Lincoln, we're actually able to get a translation into modeler's language um, and now just gain some insight into the way Mr. Kawaguchi does stuff. We were privileged enough to be able to hear him speak quite passionately about one of his favourite topics, which is using the Gundam story to influence your Gunpla building, alongside getting an insider's point of view of the judging process at the, the finals of the Gundam Builders World Cup. These lectures are unique from the point of view that at these conventions, he usually just delivers workshop style demonstrations, which is him showing people how to paint or how to scribe, Etc. 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 We don't actually get to hear him talk through a process and show and share the love that he has for this this property that he's been involved with since day one. It's now celebrating 40 years. So you know he he is, as we all know, the face of Gundam. But I don't think a lot of people understand his actual role and involvement in the property so to be able to actually listen to him talk about this stuff as opposed to showing us how to do things was a very unique experience given that these two talks went for well over an hour i've split them up into their natural breaking points uh, just to allow for easier access for viewing because if you're like me trying to sit down and digest something that's like 60 plus minutes is actually quite difficult so i've split them up into four to five parts each uh, at natural break points in the in the talks focusing on a specific topic uh, that was in that section of the talk I do apologize in advance. The noise, sound quality, I've, I've done the best that I can. I am not a sound engineer. I've isolated and boosted the volume and the audio as much as I can. But unfortunately, there is a bit of noise in the background because it is filmed at a convention. Uh, in one of the talks, there's like a trumpet playing some anime theme for a couple of minutes, which does get a little bit annoying, but you can still hear the audio quite well. So I do apologize in advance. Remember, I'm not a professional film sound person I'm just a guy with a camera who is sitting in the front row please enjoy these videos um, I'm really hoping that they're of help to you and it was my pleasure to be able to record them and edit them again I do apologize for the sound quality I've done the best that I can I'm not a professional so please enjoy <laughs> So next, Kawaguchi san is going to take us through some of the junior uh, winners from last year and he's going to uh, mention some points about what he liked about these models for us. So this one, I remember this one. Do you guys remember it too? It's really good, right? This was number three in our Vietnam last year. Junior. Mm. So first things first. What's really cool about this is that it's a white Sazabi. で、えっと、まあ、いろんなところに、あの、されてますけども、え、そんな数点の、で、カールですけども、え、綺麗に張り込んでおりまして。よく出から張るとね、ようやく上がってとかするじゃないですか。そういうことになって、これ、ね、は
and uh, it's done with uh, a, a care and attention to detail. Tending. And the, uh, the lighting effects on the weapon here are done in a very beautiful way. Now what Kawaguchi-san really likes about this is now, so there's another Japanese concept called uh, Oshi. It's not yummy, it's Asa Klos. That's difficult to describe, right? So, the Asa Klos, what about this one is the size of the bottle, the size of the gun. The base is too small to support that. It looks like uncomfortable. それと、あと今これ誰にも言っぱいありますよね。それにこんなでかいやつが立つだけで、この重量求めるのはすごく厳しいかもしれないけども、この足が目に込んだ状態が表現されてると、このものの大きさ、重さっていうのが伝わってく
なので、えー、といろんなところにそういった要素を盛り込んでいるっていうのは今回この作品の評価として大きなところになります。So, even though it's quite a small model, because of all of these details put into that tight, nice area, it's added a lot of visual value and impact to the model. So, remember I said the also close thing, right? Was see how this photo actually illustrates perfectly what sadly was missing. You should be able to see everything from one photo. Because we can't see what's happening there, also close. Of course, when you're looking at it, in, when you're looking at it in real life, you can get your different angles and see everything. But, 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 The, um, not everybody has the opportunity to come and look at these models live. So, what the world sees is one photo. So make it count. So, the, um, money shots to you. Uh, this year, yeah. mm. So that's something to do whilst we're planning. As we're doing our build, always have that in mind to choose your best shot. So that, and as Aaron was saying with that narrative, choose it in a way that every best part of the model should line up for one best shot. Did I get that out right? You know, we jokingly call it money shot on the Facebook groups, right? Yeah. So, Kawaguchi san advises that it's quite important actually. I mean, you don't have to do it, but taking photos as you progress through your build is not a bad way to keep testing that. <laughs> so, Kawaguchi san, of course, is a builder just like us. He knows how it is. When you start working on something, you get in that zone, right? And you're building, building. So, these are some concepts that you might forget. So, one way, of course, to then check that over time is get that shot. So, and as, when you're in that zone, you guys have probably noticed this too. There will be problems with your model that you only see after you've seen a photograph of it, right? Yeah. So that's just a really good thing to do. Taking the photos of it gives you a different perspective, a different point of view. You see, you go, ah, something you need to fix along the way. Of course, that gives you a perfect opportunity to distribute it to social media. And the best thing is now we don't actually have to use real film because it's digital. Uh, if the photos aren't good, we can check it out. Can, can you guys hear us? So please do take test shots as you progress. So, this is the junior who won last year from Indonesia, first place. So, you can see the complexity here, this is of course in HG, it's in 1, 1, 1, 4, 4 scale. 
いまあ、ただ、えー、この草取りやっているモビルスーツを倒すリングの時間だとまあこの世界観とかっていうのは別にしてこの羽を持つモビルスーツの強さっていうのを表現していくかもなと思います。表現がちょっと高いから大きさとかも分かるしそ,そういう概念からごめんなさいごめんなさいさあ I'm really sorry guys I'm actually having trouble hearing the sounds of the warning right past me so this one what's very interesting about it of course is this shows the scale quite well because it's quite high up above the other scaling piece in the model であのこの作品に関してはねもうほとんどあのそれぞれの仕上がりも、えー、非常に素晴らしいし見た時にやっぱ全体の構図がやっぱりうまいんですよで、えー、じゃあパッと見た時にどこに目が行くかっていうとやっぱこの、はい、ユニコーンガンダムに羽をつけたこのガンダムに目が行くわけですよねだからいろんな、まあ、これまあディオラマっていうのも単品に近い作品になりますけども何を自分は見せたいのかは骨の強さを見せたいんだよっていうのはもう多分どなたも分かっていただけると思うんですけどそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそうですそ Right into here. It's,、uh, it's obviously very well planned out, and the paint is done beautifully and equally over the whole project. でまあ、あと本当にもう、えー、これは演出になりますけれども、こういった鎖屋なんかで、まあ、絡め取っているような、えー、もうダメージをどんどん与えていくイメージですよね。で鎖でも身動きができないようにしてるような。そういった演出なんかもこう入っていって、よりにこのガンダムの強さっていうのをいろいろな形で表現するっていう。Okay, this might be difficult. This might be difficult to see. You can see the chain is wrapped around here, which is telling us obviously that the bottom half is not able to move, but he's free to move, which again influences it,、uh, shows us that this Gundam is much more powerful than he's not trapped. じゃあこの作品で、えー、じゃあもう 100% いいのかっていうと僕だったらもうちょっとこうしたいなっていうところが実はあるのでどこかっていうとこの刀の持ち方、はいはいえー、この刀の使い方ですよね位置、はい、今持ってるんだけれどもじゃあとどめさすんであれば高いのと。だからもっと上なのか、はいはい、それとも、まあ、今、この両手を広げてるところが一番やっぱり見栄えがいいんで、両手で構えるっていうのは多分ないと思うんですよね。であれば、これからこの次のシーン、次のカットがどうなるのかっていうのを想像させる、はいえー、そっちのが加わってくると、もっといいかなと思います。Based on the original concepts that k o r i c h i s a n explained to us, this is 100%.、Uh, everything is painted well,、uh, the, 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 the story, the concept is clearly visible. However, there are points for improvement. k o r i c h i s a n s explained that because he's high above the model, one of the, one of the things that could be improved would be the positioning of the sword. Because he's high. Because he's high, the sword is pointing down. Wouldn't it be interesting if the sword was perhaps held high? Because what Kawaguchi san would like to see is what would the next step be? It's actually a little bit difficult to imagine from this shot how would he move next. We kind of can't tell. Plus, there's a little bit too much balance in the pose. If one arm was up, maybe one would be down.
for example, just changing the grip, for example, could have made a very big difference here because he's holding the sword down. But if he had been holding it from here, it would have been a very different ex expression of intent, wouldn't it? The sword being thrust down with motion. Right. They're very small details, but it would completely change the intent and the outcome of this project. So of course, this is a very good uh, model, it's a very good project. And just as you've all done very, very good work here, thank you very much. But one thing we can learn is, there's that final, say, 5, maybe even 2% that would make a very big difference in impact to the 